going on YouTube is your boy OGTMA and E, aka the main event. And today we got Black YouTube has gone too far. Um, hold up. I mean my my mom just texted me about something, but um yeah. In my opinion, black YouTube is kinda getting a little too freaky. It's getting all the stuff they be posting now is just kind of, mm, 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 mm. But, um, yeah. <clears throat> Without that being said, let's get straight into the video. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe on the road to 10k at 5k. I will be doing away giveaways once I get a chance to. These long vlogs that I was talking about, they're gonna come out right now. I'm not feeling the best and I'm low key tired, not even high key. Like, I, well, I said that wrong. I'm high key tired, not even low key. High key. Because, you know, I'll just say a lot been going on in my life. And I'm trying to take it one step at a time. I know God got me. I'm going to keep praying. Keep, you know. For all y'all who believe in God, just, just pray for you, boy. That's all I got to say. But, um, yeah. Without that being said, let's get straight into the video. Giddy! As you guys could tell, over the past month or so, we've been taking a real deep dive and investigating the catacombs of black content that I have coined Hood Booker YouTube. We've seen Unks spit game and shorties half their age, freak bulls shoving dookie shoots in each other's faces, and <laughs> women just straight up grabbing meat and spreading around cheese like it's the flu. And if I'ma keep it a buck 250 with y'all, it's just softcore corn over there. All them freakazoids are trying to goon their way to the top. Hell, I even saw a 120v1 with a shorty getting finger blasted mid-shoot. Huh? Did he just say finger blast at Mitch? Wait a minute. Way to the top. Oh. Hell, I even saw a 120v1 with a shorty getting finger blasted mid shoot. Like, right. put it. down your wax, break on me lashes. Yeah, she do all of that. You can feel it. Oh. And he put that on YouTube, but they'll, they'll take me. But, YouTube, no, ain't no way y'all letting this. Look at this free ass nigga. Nah, nah, bro. I said I ain't had no energy. I'm tired, but bro, can you fat? Let it, let let a little you little YouTuber like me do some remotely close, like do a boxing match, or like just do like something like this. My shit get took down immediately. No hesitation. These niggas like. I ain't even gonna say too much about it. Hey, you can feel it, feel it, baby. Oh, <laughs> you know. Black no, Black fellas, people. fellas, come here for a second. I'm, I'm gonna put you on game. If Shorty is letting you finger popper on startup, hell, if she's letting you do it in front of 20 other men on camera for hundreds of thousands of people to see with no link in bio to be seen, you just might have some radioactive waste on them fingertips, boy. <laughs> what the f is that smell? I'm gonna need that man Gucci to tread carefully and make sure them coochie claws get washed off before he touch anything. Cause I got a little feeling that this ball rock activity is being filmed in Atlanta and that little bio being ground zero for a freak born pathogen is the last thing we need man i'm telling you man henny honey packs srts rhino pills and freak ids it is a deadly combination shut it down anyways after we broke down the 20 v1 to smash your past videos i was genuinely just going to call it a day and let them have their little modern day f bob you ready to kick some mm -mm -mm. that's just not it <laughs> They freak Nick right over there. It's clearly not my kind of content, and I said what I needed to say, so y'all just keep your hypersexual asses right over there, and we ain't gonna have no static. Keep that freaky shit on your page! But that was until I was scrolling through my timeline and came across this disgusting cardinal sin of a content poster. 20 woman versus little RT. The fuck y'all got going on over there, man? What, 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 what's up with you, gang? We gonna have to tie up whoever came up with this bullshit and just chuck stones at him in the town square. Everyone, Cause dummy, what? 
Why in the hell possess you to take the concept of a freaky deaky smasher pants extravaganza and inject a literal 10 year old into the mix? Who in their right mind thought that was a good idea? Matter of fact, that dummy, where are the parents? Do I oh god, that, that's the main question that, that niggas need to be asking these come Where are these people parents be at? Like, on some real stuff, do they not care? Like, what? Y'all are getting out of control on broski, and it's getting to the point where it's like, y'all starting to make the next generation think that this is okay when in reality it's really not. Oh damn, I ain't got no water in this motherfucker yet. <laughs> but yeah, that is stuff like this is just the main reason why I don't even do the content to begin with. Cause it's like, why add fire to the few? Now, I might make a video with a shorty and you know be cool be actually friends you know actually on some cool shit anytime i'll do some content like this at this point i wouldn't even put it on youtube unless it's like some funny shit my bad if it's like some funny and you know but stuff like that, no it's like ew the 20 v1 is a blind dates now nah, i could do that not with all that freaky shit unless they get to that then that hey that's just them but no. Nah. You turds not have anything going on up here. Is that shit hollow? Do we gotta <laughs> double check that you're getting a signal? You niggas are stupid. Because if you don't know who this little pipsqueak is that they're using for promo, it's the 10 year old Atlanta rapper, Little RT. Now, I've talked about this little whippersnapper a little bit in the past, but if you want his whole lore breakdown, then you can check out that bid right after this one. But long story short, this clip right here pretty much just summarizes what Lil Bro is all about. I'm gonna f the hump. Not up in the None of these words were spoken by Dr. Seuss nor Coco Melon in any capacity, by the way. So how the fuck did Lil Bro learn any of this vocabulary? Like, how? Gummy isn't even old enough to know what he's actually saying. Matter of fact, he can't even reach the mic in his little pipsqueak ass. Lil Man Man pull up to the mic for a 16 bar and they pull in a pre-K preset. <laughs> Just to get up there and start talking about some face gooning. Man, if you don't be original and go drop a fight in my skibbity freestyle, what the fuck my gap? What the fuck my ribs? What the fuck my skibbity? Huh, 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 huh. I'm fed up taxi. That shit is a, a two-pack of ass. <laughs> But looping it back to the poster at hand. As you guys can see here, they got little dude posted up hitting a crazy money spread with two rags fresh out of mom's pocketbook. And I already know mom's told you don't go search through her pocketbook no more. What's wrong with you? But jokes aside real quick, because the most despicable thing about this whole poster is that they got four grown women and a grown ass man endorsing this. Thus insinuating that he is going to be getting riz up by Wait a minute. woman. They even got the little... Uh-uh. Y'all gotta peep this. Am I tripping? Or is that the is that the shit off of um um fucking what is it? Y'all know y'all know the um they not like a is that the same word to bro? If I'm lying if I'm tripping, let me know. That gotta be the exact same shit, man. I ain't y'all niggas out here wildin'. A grown ass man endorsing this, thus insinuating that he is going to be getting riz up by grown adults. At this point, dog, y'all might as well have changed the text to Little RT versus Twenty Chris Tyson's. And to I top it all off, dummy, at the bottom, this shit says $500 grand prize. You mean to tell me that you're corrupting the youth and flat out just ruining lives for 500 schmeckles? That $500 is not life-changing money. It's not like it's going to scratch a dent in their future college fund because you know they're not spending on that. So tell me, genuinely, what are you going to do with that $500 grand prize? What are you, you going to do? Go buy his little bad ass a Lego lean cup? What the fuck is What is that? Not going to lie, man, that $500 grand prize that's throwing up for this bullshit honestly pisses me off more than this ugly ass photo shop job they did on this poster. Folks seen that Rico Da Vinci art style and just decided to start ooh, 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 ah, 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 all over it. Pause. Well, that was a crazy gesture. But that's enough about the poster because surely I'm the one being pranked. Yeah, that that's, uh-uh. That shit is just wicked nasty. Prank here. This just has to be a figment of my imagination. Like, there is no way in hell that folks actually sat up here and put a 10-year-old on a freaky deaky speed date. Right? Hey, hey, you like my shirt, babe? You turn you on? Okay. Y'all niggas need to go to jail. Y'all need to go to jail. You're going to jail. Wait, 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 dummy, huh? 
This little girl just walked in frame and said, you like my shirt, bae, it turns you on. Boy, ain't no fucking way, boy. What the hell is the you've come to, man? Oh, it's Ragnarok. Oh. <laughs> And the crazy thing is, I can't even ask where the parents are because you can hear grown adults in the background giggling like sweet. At this point, bro, FBI, CIA, CPS, somebody just please come help us now. Police! Help! And if saying it once wasn't enough, this absolute plague to humanity was f geek to get his sicko rocks off. So he tried to act like he ain't here it the first time just so she could say it again. That was quick. I didn't even hear what I said. That was so quick. Go again? Yeah, go again. Go again. Hold on. It'd be a freak act. Get this nigga out of here! What is with him? I swear, if it showed a clip, I'm I'm cooking his ass, Cook, bro. Like no no disrespect, you know, I I get it. Get your content or whatever. This is not it. Like litter, and you're just promoting little kid. Ew, brother. Ew, brother. Ugh. What's that, brother? Brother. Ugh. That hell was way too quick. You like my shirt, babe? It turn you on. <laughs> <laughs> I see like that. <laughs> I see oh, like man. that. <laughs> yeah, go, go ahead, and get that little thing. What the fuck is wrong with you? You the oh, fuck God. is what's wrong with society? Nah, freak boy, you know exactly what you are. You, 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 you. You's a freaky ass nigga. Go oh, easy God. on the young ones, my uh, man. I want every Atlanta police officer, cyber security analyst, FBI agent, help even calling fucking Vitaly to look at that man hard drive right now. And nah, buddy, don't you dare get to the leaking shit because we already got your ass in 4K. There's no way out of this one. You're done. But taking a few steps back and looking at the whole picture, this entire video just reminds me of when you were chilling with your older cousins and they just kept trying to get you to do stuff that you weren't supposed to do. This weirdo schmuck is asking questions that no sane grown adult with no blood relation should be asking a child. It, it, it's giving, it's giving weirdo uncle vibes. RT, did she make you nervous a little bit? I'll lie. You say? I, 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 make yeah, you say. Yeah, hold on, hold on, time out. Am I actually hearing this correctly? Like, did this grown man just ask that little boy, little RT, did she make you nervous? What? Nigga, duh. You putting this kid that should clearly be in a summer camp on a 20v1 blinding. Bro, Dr. Strange seen, what, 14 million something multiverses, and he still couldn't find a universe where this shit made sense. I mean, just look at him. That poor kid is shivering his timbers looking at all them girls walking in front of him. Low crash out probably still thinking they gonna give him cooties. I mean, he just worried about not bringing the cheese touch back to the playground after shooting this video, but you fucking his mojo up. <laughs> <laughs> and the creepy questions don't even stop there by any means because not even a minute after that comment, dude asks why he doesn't like multiple women in a relationship. But it's two of them though, it's two girls. You don't like that? RT, would you ever have two girlfriends though? Huh? Hey, get, bitch, what the fuck is wrong with you? Like, no shot. He literally just said, no, at this point, you're weird. That's weird. Hold up, y'all. My bad. I keep getting messages. I keep getting messages, but um, yeah, that's just why. Why are you promoting this? You're you're fucking weird. You need help. Seek Jesus, nigga. Oh, he phrasing the question as if dude is turning down a two girl wombo combo. What, 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 huh? He can't keep getting away with it. Yeah, big dog. Go ahead, write down that password for termination, nigga, because you are going underneath the jail. No amount of cash app, mobile game, scam ad money that you running off these videos is going to be enough to lure your way out of this shit, dog. Because trying to push our youth towards a path of debauchery and Tristan Thompson acts is already enough. But filming and posting it for the masses to see is just the cherry on top the doofus cake. Especially when it's a random grown ass man organizing this shit. Like I said earlier, this whole video just looks like an older cousin making a little cousin do something that he shouldn't. And I can see an angle where this is playful banner between like cousins or brothers or whatever, but this man has literally no relation to that child. I actually know it scratched that because both him and Lou Ortiz's mom both seem to have that numbskull gene, so you know they kind of got a little bit of the same dumb ass DNA. <laughs> loser. I can honestly see him trying to defend this by saying, oh, you know, I'm trying to teach the kids raise, I'm just doing raise. But I personally can't even call it that. At best, to me, this looks like taking action figures and making them play date night, but instead with kids. Because the kids don't know what the hell's going on, you're just forcing them to play out some sick weirdo fantasy that you got in your head. Does your weirdo ass not think that this is disgusting? What's up, brother? She came up to me saying, hey, baby, you like my shirt? It's on your own. Would you like that, though, huh? Yeah. 
Yeah. Hey, yo, what the fuck? Get him out of here. Is this what content has come to in 2024, man? Because if so, I'm ready to wear the white flag, man. Y'all can go ahead and nuke nigga YouTube instantly. Because if this is the path that folks is going on, you genuinely need to put these people on an actual list, dog. Like, this is just flat out creepy on so many different levels. All up in that boy, yeah. Man. That's why I keep saying the generation next year is good. We're good. Yeah, with this hot breath talking about some damn, but you like that, huh? Yeah, Lord, I tell you, you better get her, huh? Brother, ugh. Yeah, man, we're gonna put your sicko in front of the firing squad. I'm talking 4,000 lashings, public stoning, brazen bull, level 10 impel down. Chat, let it be known, I'm saying it right now. Someone needs to put this man under a microscope ASAP, no Rocky. I was talking about ain't no party like a King City party, but nah, nigga. Ain't no party like a Megadella Boo party. <laughs> oh, boy. I know what you are. Because no joke, this entire video, start to finish, is just textbook, frame by frame, 20v1, with kids but i guess that heinous combination wasn't enough because they are also committing 500 acts of environmental damage by injecting popping the balloon into the mix or at least that's what i think is going on because the camera is just not even picking up the balloons most of the time this goober is cranking out infinite 20 v1 slot videos racking up millions of hood rich views yet he can't even get a decent camera to record his bull i was sitting here watching some of this slop and truth be told i couldn't even tell what the hell was going on in some parts if i ain't know no better dummy i would have assumed we was watching this on one, two, three movies. Like, what are you using to record their videos, gang? Of a, 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 a fucking Nokia? Who are you? I am under the water. I mean, the white in the I'm background's the near piercing my pupils. I had to put on the fucking Buford goggles so I ain't lose my retinas. I but I digress, because while the video quality might be flat out horrendous, that is quite literally the least of our problems here, bro. I kid you not, a solid third of this video is this sicko having them do ritualistic flipping truckathons for little RT in front of the camera. Now, I'm not going to put this in this vid because it's disgusting, but I genuinely can't comprehend how the hell this got past YouTube TOS. Like, this video has one million views. How, how, how is this still up? There were parts where the kids were doing dance moves that no eight to ten year old should be doing, get alone on camera for YouTube, and this would just squirm her and let out a little eh. Oh, shit. I remember that. I remember. I remember that. I remember that. You're boy. But you two get that nigga. If I gotta go down, so does he. That is disgusting. I know. I know. I'm not supposed to be doing them. That is disgusting. He was looking. I'm. Not, I'm not even gonna put it in detail. But one of the contestants that was up there, he was. Pack this nigga up. That's all I gotta say. Pack him up. Damn! Stop. Why are you looking at him? What is he needs help. I, I swear, if my content gets taken, if I'm gonna test something, if any, if I'm gonna do one video remotely close to not, not, no, not the exact same thing, a smidge close. If I get my shit taken down, I'm putting this video up for recognition. Cause the miners. You was a fucking sick ass nigga, man. At this point, dummy, I'm gonna just go ahead and put your ass on the calendar. Some people need to be gone, bro. Obviously, there is so much in this video that just grinds my gears. But something that is constantly bugging me is how much little RT's parents have just failed this kid. This entire video, you can just tell that parts of this kid's brain have just not developed yet like they should. But there's one part in particular that really made me feel OD uneasy. A kid asked if he had any passions and little dude flat out just did not know what the hell she was talking about. RT, what are you most passionate about? Mm. I don't even know. Hold on. Yeah. That's crazy. He don't even know. Y'all too. Y'all worried about getting content out when little dude don't even know what. What he up there? Um. Hey. Hey. This is all I'm say. If any one of my kids talking about they finna be in a 20v1, I'm putting belt. Do you hear me? Belt. I, I need. I need every. I need everybody to hear me. I'm putting belt to ass. Cause what? You're not finna. No. What was your question? What is he most passionate about? Oh, okay. It's like, what do you like the most? You don't know. He, Nothing. He don't. He don't Come on, know. man. That's crazy. 
Now I know that most kids just be running around begging you to watch them hit the little jet yoinky spoinky and admittedly don't know what the hell they like either. But the pure confusion on that kid's face when he was tasked with computing a word with more than two syllables in it, it, it it's just astonishing, bro. You got too much dip on your chip. Now a lot of may be my son, but I've never raised a kid, so I don't really like telling others how to parent. But not gonna lie, Chad, I seriously think that this might be a cold red. That boy's parents need to be locked up on 10 counts of unlawful absence. And she, while we added, replace Lil RT Glock with a switch with a book with a Quidditch in it. Looking at this whole situation with my analytical spectacles on, that little kid just, he just might qualify for fairly all parents. But I would hate to see a world where that little bad kid gets some over. <laughs> oh, imagine the destruction. <laughs> But looping back to the dork that uploaded this bullshit, the f**k'tard knows he's dead wrong because he disabled comments on the video. This sludge has 1 million views and is sitting at a whopping 130k dislikes. <laughs> at that exactly. point, bro, not That's only would I have it. deleted the video, but I would have also taken the channel and hit a little old yellow in the backyard. Because crazy thing is, at the start of this video, little RT said that he wants 100,000 on the likes. And they got that shit all right. You, you, you better be careful what you wish for. <laughs> But anyways, man, after what we have seen today, I not only think this insect of a channel needs a community guideline strike for child endangerment, but every grown adult involved in this nonsense needs to be caught and pushy shamed for all eternity. I want every single... Exactly. I know he gonna be ranting about, but on a serious note, y'all gotta, we gots to help the youth, because ain't no way, I know it's like a good chunk, he, he's just gonna, he's just gonna be ranting. Thank you, Nax, for, you know, uploading it. These, these niggas need help. I'm not gonna lie. Let, let's read the comments though. Let's read the comments. This, this is a um, we, but finally here. Flying cars in 2024, they said. So we just sexualizing children and now nobody recognized this as a problem. What the fuck is going on? Exactly. I, I'm none of none of none of the none of the little I'm telling you, anybody in my family who's young think they finna do this, I'm putting belt tap. I don't care. Cause this is not it. The fact a ten year old is allowed to rapper and her set age makes me scared for this generation. Like he, like when I was ten, I didn't even oh what any of the bad words. No, nah, I'm not gonna lie. When I was ten, I I knew I knew some. I knew some. I'm, I'm not gonna lie to you. And I I had a passion for singing, but I wasn't I wasn't doing no wild stuff like this. I was outside on the green box doing backflips. What are you talking about? Like. What the is our what the what is happening to our people? My bad, I was a little stuttering. Yeah, I that's what I want to know. Anyways, I'm off this topic. This all this video already too long. But anyways, it's your boy OGTMA and E signing out. Yiddy. Hey man, help help us. No, our people need help. I'ma pray for all y'all putting holy water everywhere. We gonna get this situated.